Can OnePlus Z go head-to-head -head with Pixel 4a and win? Have to break it to you, but OnePlus has come a long way. They've been in Android phone tops for cameras, performance, battery, design, you name it. Hi guys, Alina here. Welcome back to Need to Know. Pixels are going haywire. Last we heard, Pixel 4a will be announced next month, but might become available in October. This obviously blows for Pixel fans who might just get tired of waiting and look elsewhere. Where? In OnePlus's backyard. I was told their mid-ranger, OnePlus Z, will show up in July too. And it might have everything to beat Pixel 4a. In true tech lead fashion, we went through all the leaks and teasers and got a good idea of what the OnePlus Z is gonna bring. First of all, it might not even be called OnePlus Z in the end. Yes, they might change it again. The phone first started as the OnePlus 8 Lite, the pretty self-explanatory name for a dialed-down version of the 8 series, right? Well, it was soon rumored to come out as OnePlus Z. Why? Well, the mid-ranger they released in 2015 was called the OnePlus X, so alphabet reasons. Just as we got comfy with this name, teasers started pointing out a OnePlus Nord? OnePlus even trademarked this name so it could use it for more smart gadgets in the future. But why Nord, huh? If you have any clues, just comment below. I can't wait to hear what you think. So this OnePlus Nord can go head-to-head -head with Pixel 4a and win? I kinda hate to say it, but yeah, it could. And not just because of the specs, which, by the way, sound amazing, but also because OnePlus has come a long way. In the last couple of years, they pretty much showed up in every Android phone top. For camera, performance, battery, design, you name it. But that's been true only for the flagship models, which were pretty expensive, let's face it. $800, $900? Yeah, that's not spare money laying around. Can they balance specs and features with money, like Google and Apple are doing? We'll see this July. Truth is, we've talked about Pixel 4a before, and it's by far our favorite Android phone on a budget. Just think of the camera perks. For $400, you'll have amazing imaging software at your fingertips. So yes, Pixel 4a's strong points are definitely camera and software. Overall, it's a very functional phone, but is it daring, innovative? Can it be like the series to redefine mid-rangers to make them not just affordable but cool, attractive? Or is OnePlus Z the game changer? See, OnePlus Z is probably gonna have a great camera and more performance than Pixel 4a. I mean, looking at what we know now. Like, it's gonna come with the Snapdragon 765, the best choice for phones on a budget. Looks like in Pixel 4a's case, however, we'll have to compromise and work on a 730 chip. Less strength, no 5G support. And even when we look at cameras, Google is not gonna stray from the single camera on the back for Pixel 4a. Yep, they're putting all their bets on their unbeatable camera software. OnePlus, though, is set to consider triple cameras for the Z. Some leaks pointed to an in-display fingerprint sensor, unlike Pixel rear one. This kind of shows an extra effort, you know, to keep superior tech in budgeted phones. If it's confirmed, it could mean an OLED screen too. Talking about screens, OnePlus Z should have a flat display, unlike the 8 series that went with curved displays. And hey, we are seeing a return to flat displays? Samsung is set to do the same with Note this year. Flat or curved? Which do you like best? Pitch in below. Either way, we're looking at a 6.4-incher, bigger than the Pixel 4a screen. Something some of you will definitely love? More screen space! Yay! But others will hate. Hey, that's life! And what's gonna hide under the screen? Now, if you ask an optimist, 12 gigabytes of RAM. If you ask us, that's unlikely in a $500 phone. We would settle, pun intended, for 6 gigabytes, just like the Pixel is rumored to bring. When it comes to battery, OnePlus could take the cake with a 4000 mAh or so cell, while Pixel 4a is almost certain to stay in the 3000 range. Not cool, guys, but before we blame Google too much, let's be real. Pixel 4a will sell for $400, while OnePlus Z is probably gonna retail for $100 more. That difference accounts for the lack of top-notch tech. In the end, it's up to you. Wanna go for a seamless experience, great camera and functional phone, 
or pay extra for an equally good camera but better design and performance. Choose your destiny and comment with your choice below. Oh, and don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. Stay safe, guys!